Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working on a sewing project that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, sewing is one of my favorite hobbies that I have that I like to do whenever I have some time. And so I wanted to show you how to make a simple little gift or maybe just a simple little project for yourself or your kitchen or your home. So we're gonna just be making a little tea towel. Um, you can also maybe make a couple of these for gifts. They'd be great to get started on maybe for Christmas gifts, um, birthday gifts, anything like that. And they're really easy to make. So come along with me and I'm gonna show you how to do that project today. So the fabric I'm using today is a linen and cotton blend from Robert Kaufman. I get this off of Amazon and I'll put it in a link below. But I'm gonna go ahead and measure my fabric to 22 inches by 29 inches. This is going to give me a size piece anywhere between 20 to 27 or 19 to 27 inches for my tea towel here. So I'm just gonna cut that with my scissors and a little tip that I like to use is to fold over my fabric once I start cutting to help me get more of a straight edge. And then I have one of those rotary cutters so after this I'm gonna go ahead and use that just to get it a little bit more square. Now I do recommend pre-washing the fabric before you start sewing and cutting your pieces out because a lot of times the fabric will shrink if you don't do that beforehand. So I went ahead and just washed this on a hot cycle just to kind of shrink it up just a little bit. And as you see here, I'm gonna cut off the raw edges to kind of get rid of that and just kind of make it a nice square piece. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna iron that really, really well to get all the wrinkles out. To make my hems on each side, I'm just gonna fold my piece over about a half an inch. You can do half an inch, quarter of an inch. I kind of do this back and forth just depending on what I want the look to look like. And I'm just gonna fold over each side once and then pin that down. Next, I'm gonna fold this over one more time, another half an inch, and I'm just going to iron that down on all sides as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do my mitered corner here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unfold this one fold on each of the corners so that I'm just working with one single fold on my corner side. And then I'm just gonna kinda take it and I'm gonna dog ear it up. So I'll show you what that means here in a minute. I'm just gonna kinda fold my corner in here and I'm gonna iron that down to kinda create the little fold that I need. After that, I'm gonna take my scissors here and I'm just gonna cut off the top piece of my triangle. This is gonna get rid of a lot of the bulk on the other side, so that way when we fold this up to make our mitered corner, it's gonna lay more flat. So now I'm going to refold up my second fold again that I had done before, and I'm just gonna kinda join those there so that the two edge pieces meet. Sometimes you do have to finagle with it a little bit, um, wiggle it around, maybe adjust it a little bit here and there to get those two pieces to meet. And then I always pin everything down. I pin those corners together just so that it makes it easier when I'm sewing. I won't have to be messing with it and I can just take my pin straight out and turn my corners and sew. And I'm just gonna repeat this same step on all four corners.
So I like to add a little fabric holder on the right side or one of the corners of my tea towel here. And so I'm gonna take a piece that is measured one and a half inches wide by two and a half inches long. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna fold this up on the sides about maybe a quarter of an inch or maybe a little bit less than that on both of my sides here. And then I'm going to take my iron and I'm just gonna fold that in half one more time and I'm going to iron this down. Next, I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine and I will sew down the sides and where the two long sides meet so that that secures the whole thing together. Next, I'm gonna take my hanger piece here and I'm just gonna slide that up underneath my two folds on the corner here so that it kind of looks like a triangle. Then I'm just gonna pin this in place and I'll be ready to sew my tea towel. Now I'm just gonna sew around all my sides here, making sure that I kind of backstitch on my hanger piece just to give it a little bit more security. And also backstitch and forward stitch a little bit more in my corners, also to keep them really strong. So as you can see, I made a variety of these and that's because I will be having these for sale in my Etsy shop if anyone is interested. I'll have that linked below and they're really easy to make if you wanna make them yourself. And again, I think these just make great little gifts and I can't wait to make some more for the upcoming holidays. Again, I'd like to thank you guys so much for coming to watch today's video and we'll see you guys again on our next DIY.